Hey hey, welkom terug bij Karen's Papercraft. Welkom back, thank you very much for watching. Wat leuk dat je bekijkt, dankjewel. En vandaag heb ik deze schattige babykaarten voor je. And today I have these beautiful and cute baby cards to show you. I've gone with less traditional colors. This is Granny Apple Green and this is Bermuda Bay. And of course, in Rococo Rose is nice too, but then of course, obviously, it's more a girly color. Now, I've decorated my envelopes as well. Just our whisper white envelopes and some stamps. And if you want to decorate the flap, you will need an extra piece of paper. So it's up to you whether you want to go with the extra piece or not. Als je die flap van de envelop wilt versieren, dan moet je ook nog heb je een extra stukje papier nodig. Ik zal het je laten zien. Het papier is van Celebration, the Oso Ombre. Um, als je wilt weten hoe je zo'n houdertje kunt maken, ik zal een link naar een filmpje de hier beneden zetten. Um, the paper is the Oso Ombre, it's a celebration paper. And if you want to know how you can make an organizer for the paper, I'll put a link below. It's a beautiful paper. There's three colors really, Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, Rococo Rose, that's four, Karen, one, two, three, four, okay, and Whisper White, which is a fifth color, but okay. And it's really beautiful paper, you see, and you've got the ombre look, and there's also an ombre look with these little rings on it. So, 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 gradatie van de kleurverloop. Met ook aan de ene kant uh, ringetjes. En ik zal je laten zien dat als je die flap van een envelop wilt versieren. I'll show you if you wish to um, decorate the flap of an envelope. You see the envelope is too white. You'll have to spend another piece of paper on it. Dat kost je een extra blaadje papier. En dit is te klein for what you would use a card note to and what you will have left will not be big enough for what you need for the card so it's up to you i mean in, with this envelope i just decorated the back with a little heart which i think is cute as well Okay, now what do you need? Of course, first of all, the stamp set. This is brand new. It's going to be available from January. Deze is vanaf januari beschikbaar. Hij heet Baby Pool Toys. Moet wel even in beeld houden. Sorry, I was out of, uh, out of view of my camera. Um, it's a really cute stamp set. And it's a cling stamp set. Um, then, what you need for this card um, is... A piece of Whisper White, which is 11 by 4 and 1 8, scored at 5 and a half. 28 centimeter by 10 and a half, gerild op 14. A strookje Whisper White van... Oh gosh, I've forgotten the size now, but the sizes are on my blog. Deze maat weet ik even niet meer, maar de maat is not mijn blog. Een blaadje van het Oso Ombre papier. En dan nog een tweede blaadje voor de hartjes en een vierkantje. A second sheet for the hearts and um, that square and I've die cut the little hearts with the two hearts in the celebration label set. Hier komen die hartjes vandaan en die heb ik gewoon zes keer gesneden uit het lichtste kleurtje van het papier en we hebben straks nog even van de layering squares de vierde nodig dat is de fourth largest which is 8, 7, the third largest, I think. Number 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, fourth largest. Well, <laughs> it's on my blog. Ik weet dat nooit. I, I can never remember. Okay, now, first let me show you how to make the embellishment for the card. So I'm putting these one over here. Um, I've done some stamping to shorten the video a bit. Um, I've taken three pieces of Whisper White, three inches by three inches, seven half centimeter, seven half centimeter, and I've stamped my images, and I've heat embossed them. I kept them stempled, and I kept them with clear embossing powder. Have I embossed? And I have the olive oil nog nodig. And I want to have my elephant out. And there you go. Okay, I always stamp in early espresso because I think that's a beautiful color. And I'm going to heat emboss it, so I'm taking my clear embossing powder. I'll do that and then I'll speed up for that and I'll be back when I'm finished.
Right. Um, I always go back again. Ik ga nog altijd een keertje terug met de lead gun. Totdat ik zie dat er niets meer weegt. I see nothing moving. And then I'm sure that all my... Um, well, it's a plastic powder really. That the powder has melted. It is a sort of plastic powder. That the whole plastic has smolten. So I'm going to color it. And I'm going to do it with the blends. And I'm going to also see which blends I'm going to use. I set a still in the film. I'm going to color them. These are my blends. And I'll put a still in the film to show you what blends I've used. Right, that's my coloring. Dat is al het kleuren. Ik leg even mijn blends weg. En nu moet je dus die drie even uitsnijden. And you're going to die cut these with this uh, size of the uh, layering squares. Met deze maat van layering squares. En dan kijk ik zo een beetje dat ze mooi uitkomen op mijn snijvlak. I just check if they are, if they look right. If you want them in the middle, I don't want them in the middle, I want them a bit towards the corner. Ik was niet helemaal in het midden, ik was een beetje zo in de hoek hebben. Dat die en die even ver van de kant af zitten. So that space and that space is equal. I'm going to die cut these and when I've done that I'll be back. So that's the last of them. Dat is de laatste. Even mijn opbergen. Zo. Um, oh my god. Dus dit zijn de drie afbeeldingen. These are my three images. And here I have the strip of whisper white. And now I can see it is 7 and 1 8 by 2 and 3 8. Okay. And I'm going to score that at 2 and 3 8. Just check my notes. If Yeah, at 2 and 3 8. So that's 1, 2, 3. And then you flip the paper and you score at... Four and three quarters. And then you can fold it. And this is how it's going to be on your card. So I want my um, lion there, the elephant in the middle and my giraffe there so when you stick it on the card this is how it folds over. I'm going to do that first of all. And then I cut a piece of the cardstock which is Two and five eighths by two and five eighths, and I'm going to adhere that bit on top of that one. And I'm going to die that on fast plakken. No. 
dat is hij was klaar. Ik bewaar mijn hartjes even. I'm going to keep my little hearts. And I'm going to do some stamping. Ik ga nog even wat stempelen. En heat embossen. Because I want my sentiment. Ik wil de tekst. It's a girl. Where's my stamp set? It's a girl. There we are. Just a scrap of daffodil. Delight. Gewoon een stukje raspberry daffodil delight. En ik probeer hem al zo recht mogelijk op mijn stempelblok te zetten. I'm trying to get this one on as straight as I can. And again, I'm going to heat emboss and... Stamp. More or less straight. Put my powder on top. And heat emboss. I'll do that and I'll be back when I've finished doing that. Right, all I have to do now is cut it down to size. Ik hoef alleen maar even op maat te snijden. Ik ben iets te snel. Ik heb even een potlood nodig en een lineaaltje. I need a ruler and a pencil. And I'm just going one eighth of an inch on either side. Een achtste inch, dat is drie millimeter aan elke kant. Zo, dat kan ik dan klein snijden en dan cutting that down. Now my trimmer comes in and I'm putting the pencil mark on the groove and then the cutting. So even if I haven't stamped straight, zelfs als ik niet recht gestempeld heb, oh wacht even, ik kan het makkelijker zo doen. It'll be easy like this. Even if I didn't stamp straight, because I measured this, I can still... And now it's going to be tricky because my piece of paper is too small. But no problem. I'll just stick it down temporarily. Plak them even just tidelijk vast. Once the arm is down, you can do your cutting. But I had no hold anymore. Ik had geen hou vast meer. Een stukje papier was te klein. My piece of paper was just rather small for that. Okay, put my sticky tape away. Now I can do some cutting and I to take my snips for this and I want about half an inch from there half an inch from there then I'm putting it on my grid paper pencil and where these lines cross I put a dot and I cut from the corner towards the dot from the hook clip it on near that potlood puntje Kijk, dan heb je een mooi, vlag, een mooi vlaggetje. You have a flagged end. Oké, okay, I'm putting that one over here. Um, for later. And I'm going to stick my paper to the card. I want the lighter piece to go towards the top corner. So I'll just take my Tombow and adhere my designer series paper to the base card. Ik ga dat designpapier vastplakken op de basiskaart. Top je erop. En dan leg ik hem zo in de hoeken. I'm trying to make the edges straight. <laughs> Oké, okay. Karin rides again. Um, I was making a card in Rococo Rose. <laughs> And this is not Rococo Rose, is it? It's Bermuda Bay. See? Oké, okay, um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep this card, I mean, I'll, I'll show you. Um, you, you can cut off the, the bits that stick out, <laughs> but I should have taken the other colour. Okay, I'll, I'll do that for an, a different card and I'll be back when I've done that. <laughs> Weet je, mensen hebben me ook gezegd van, waar, waarom hou jij, als je iets fout doet, waarom, waarom knip je dat er niet uit? I mean, I've been asked by people, why don't you edit uh, when you goof up? Well, I don't, because anyone can make a mistake. Nou, ik doe dat niet, want iedereen kan natuurlijk een fout maken. En dan kun je ook eens lachen. And you can have a good laugh at me. So, this is what I wanted. Dit is wat ik wilde. Zo, ik heb nu mijn hartjes er weer nodig. 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6. I thought I'd manage to lose one, but I have 6. That's okay. Now then, this bit goes on my card. 
So again, I'm taking my Seal Plus and the glue, Tombow, and then pluck it on first, moving it over, and I want it well left top corner. And because I've put the lighter um, edge of the paper towards the top, it has a nice contrast with the Rococo Rose paper. And what I here that lichter heb is that a leuk contrast met that Rococo Rose paper. Now, dan ga ik die hartjes vastzetten met de mini glue dots. And I'm going to attach my sentiment with the mini stamping dimensionals. We have also the hele kleine stamping dimensionals, and they are precise enough to hold that piece fast. To set. I set it gelijk met the underkant, and I'm aligning it with the edge, and then. I put down four, set ik er vier op, naast elkaar, next to each other, and then the strip can go on top. Beetje zo half op hebben towards the bottom bit so that I can still see my. See, this is how I put it on. So set the camera dan op. Deze eventjes weg doen. Let me get rid of those. Right, and now some stamping on the envelope. I nog even wat stempelen op het envelopje. En dan heb je een. Nou, weet je wat? Ik heb hier een envelop om te laten zien. Dat ga ik niet doen. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not going to show you. I mean, you get the point, don't you? You can stamp on the envelope. The um, sweet little hearts are in the stamp set as well. Die hartjes zitten ook in die stempel set. En zo heb je dan een leuke babykaart. And this makes a really nice card for a baby. Well, thank you very much for watching. Dankjewel voor het kijken en tot ziens. Bye bye.